Tampa, Florida, February 7, Patrick Mahomes No. 15 looks on at head coach Andy Reid of the Kansas City Chiefs during the third quarter of the game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in Super Bowl 55 at Raymond James Stadium on February 7, 2021 in Tampa, Florida. Photo by Patrick Smith Getty Images, Super Bowl 55 could not have gone much worse for the Kansas City Chiefs. The score wasn't close as the Tampa Bay Buccaneers came away with a dominant 31-9 win. The Tampa Bay defense completely shut down the KC offense. Tom Brady and the offense took advantage of the opportunities that they had. The Chiefs' special teams was abysmal and the officiating was, well, let's just call it frustrating. Simply put, there was no bright side for the Chiefs in this game. It was all bad. It was the first time in Patrick Mahomes' career that he and the Chiefs were never in the game. While Mahomes gave a heroic effort, at the end of the day, the decimated offensive line had him running for his life and his skill players couldn't bail him out. Hats off to Todd Bowles and the Bucks' defense, as they did what no other defense has done in three seasons. I don't want to hear about the injuries or the officiating either. Yes, there are some valid points to be made, but the Bucks' defense was just about perfect in this game in terms of planning and execution. Making excuses is a disservice to Bowles and his unit, and they deserve all the praise after this game as far as I'm concerned. I also have to tip my cap to Tom Brady, as much as it stings. I thought he was washed after last season, but he was sharp in this game and you simply can't argue with seven Super Bowl rings. He's the GOAT and deserves that title 100%. I thought maybe if Mahomes dominated Brady head-to-head -head in this game and grabbed his second Super Bowl win at such a young age, we could start to talk about him challenging Brady, but that's a hard sell right now. So should Chiefs fans mope into the offseason and wallow in self-pity at just how awful this all is? No, not by a long shot. This chapter ended badly, but it's not the end of the story for the Chiefs. Look, the game itself was awful, no argument there, but the big picture for the Chiefs and Chiefs Kingdom is still very, very good. Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes have been together, with Patrick as the starter, for three seasons. The Chiefs were one penalty away from making the Super Bowl in their first season, won the Super Bowl in their second, and made it back to the Super Bowl but lost in their third. That's an amazing track record, and there's every reason to believe the Chiefs will be favorites to win it all next season. While the Chiefs were dominated in this game, who knows how things would have been if they had just one or two of the offensive linemen they lost for this game? This team isn't losing much next season and they certainly don't need to tear things down and rebuild.